Aww, animals. Sled dog dies from overheating on plane during Iditarod race. Referred to as the world's most famous sled dog race, the Iditarod is known for its harsh terrain and the grueling pace the dogs must maintain to compete at the highest level. On March 10th, a young canine participant was the victim of unfavorable conditions on board a plane between checkpoints, causing animal activists to question how high the welfare of the dogs has been prioritized up till now. In the midst of a nearly thousand mile journey across Alaska, the two-year-old dog named Smoke suffered a painful wrist injury. Dropped from the race, Smoke was loaded into a wooden travel kennel on a plane along with 74 other dropped dogs. Aboard the flight from Galena to Anchorage, officials say the dog showed signs of overheating. By the time it landed, Smoke had died. The findings of a necropsy conducted indicate the dog likely died from hyperthermia, and the factors that led to the high temperature of the plane cabin are now being investigated. Smoke's death is forcing immediate changes to how the dropped dogs are transferred, with organizers vowing to avoid dressing the dogs in coats during flights, as well as monitoring cabin temperatures more carefully and increasing ventilation to ensure a safe passage for the pups. Smoke is the second dog to die in this year's race, after a two-year-old dog named Deacon died just a day before. The race began on March 6th and takes roughly 9 to 15 days to complete. To date, PETA reports at least 148 dogs have lost their lives in the Iditarod's recorded history. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Dogs like to run, some more than others. Man reunited with dog who ran the Gobi Desert with him. In a story that could have ended in tragedy, it was nothing short of a miracle that an Australian marathoner managed to reunite with his dog in a city of over 3 million. Dion Leonard was running a marathon in the Gobi Desert last March when a little brown pup sidled up to him. For the entire 250-kilometer run across difficult terrain, the dog kept up with him and never left. Leonard called the pup Gobi and decided he would bring her home to Scotland with him. He had to leave China after the race and left Gobi with a friend while he began the long and expensive process of taking his beloved dog home. But while waiting to be transferred to Beijing for the quarantine process, Gobi suddenly went missing. Leonard flew in from Edinburgh and tirelessly looked for his precious brown pup, but after numerous close calls and several disappointments, she had yet to turn up. With hope and time running out, Leonard was already preparing himself for a heartbreaking loss when a phone call came in. A man who'd seen the posters of Gobi said he and his son found a dog with her exact description at a local park. Leonard wasn't too hopeful, but when he got to the man's house, a familiar brown dog ran out and began jumping on him. It was a blissful reunion. And this time around, Leonard's making sure he won't lose her again. Dog accidentally runs half marathon, finishes in seventh place. A minor race held in an Alabama town with a population of just 500 is attracting the attention of the running world after this unofficial participant claimed 7th place. The inaugural Elkmont Half Marathon took place on January 16th to help raise funds for cross-country runners at a local high school. But the 165 finishers faced some unexpected competition when they were joined by a two-and-a-half-year-old bloodhound called Ludivine. Owner April Hamlin said the unleashed dog found her way to the starting line after being allowed out to do her doggy business. Named after a French character in the Russell Crowe movie, A Good Year, Ludivine chased down the pack like a Frenchman going after blue cheese. And aside from some unscheduled stops to investigate a dead rabbit and sniff around another dog, Ludivine stuck to the 13.1 mile course. She finished the race in a pretty respectable 1 hour, 32 minutes and 56 seconds, claiming 7th place. Race organizers thought Ludivine deserved a medal for her efforts and said they were delighted with the publicity generated by her run. Chihuahua runs around on Bay Bridge. Coppers catch him. This little Chihuahua created quite the commotion over the weekend, grabbing headlines for a wild dash down the Bay Bridge. It's not known where the Chihuahua came from or who his owners are, but something about that bridge must have called his name. Because on April 3rd, he was spotted dashing across the bridge with no regard for human life. His daring escapade wouldn't last long though, as California Highway Patrol officers began tailing him. With the cops in hot pursuit, the pooch clearly wasn't about to let them take him in without putting up a fight. Running at full tilt, he evaded police as long as he could. At one point during the chase, the wily chihuahua decided to stop for a moment and face down the 5-0. 
but rather than give himself up, he chose to toy with the cops and took off again. But the fun couldn't last forever, and eventually the officers were able to safely nab the little guy and get him to safety. CHP San Francisco has since posted photos and video of the pooch, attempting to reunite him with his owners. Until his guardians come and claim him, they've nicknamed him Ponch, after Eric Estrada's dreamy Frank Poncherello character on the hit show Chips. How fitting.